Hello everybody, today we want to talk about weaving or auto hit animation cancellation. What does this mean? Uh, weaving is a technique which is um, yeah, a technique to do uh, to optimize your damage per second in, in the long term. So this means um, what we want to do is uh, cancel our auto hit animations and I am just going to show you what this is about. So in the first example I will just normally use my, all my skills as fast as I can. So as you, so, as you have seen I did all the skills uh, and then I had a period of auto hit, auto hit, auto hit, auto hit and then my skills were ready again. Uh, now this is not the best method to deal damage. I will show you why. Maybe you will see it yourself. So now I'm going to weave. So what I did now is, uh, between every time, also in the chains, between every skill I uh, hit the one, I don't I don't think you have to hit one, but I uh, just do it for safety. So so my character really wants to start uh, to swing an auto attack. And as soon as he starts to swing, you can press the next skill and the damage from the auto hit will still come. So weaving is about putting auto hits between the skills but the art of weaving is to make the auto hit animation as short as possible so um, if we if we just dish out every of our skills and then don't have anything what we can do we can just auto hit then there's no no there's no option or no opportunity for us to make the auto hits shorter but if we do it between the skills we can cancel the animation and now on the mathematical mathematical side, we can see that in the first time when I hit this cr uh, the first crossover, it was like I did four or five skills. Let's let's just say five, and then I did four auto attacks, and then again I do the skills. Now when I hit the second one, I did auto attack skill. Auto attack skill, auto attack skill, auto uh, and so on. And so by logic, this means if I do five skills before those, each of those skills added one auto attack. So that's five auto attacks and five skills. And even then, I had the time to do one auto hit in addition or two. So this means in the first example, I have eight seconds and five skills, four auto attacks. In the second example, I also have 8 seconds, because the circle always uh, restarts after 8 seconds, when this skill gets ready again. So in the second example, I had 5 skills and 6 auto hits instead of 4. So that's just more damage. I can show it to you again. Okay, this was not the op optimal uh, example because uh, sometimes uh, with some classes it's hard to always exactly weave because uh, I had this skill which only comes up when an enemy falls and this is uh, triggered by coincidence so sometimes enemy falls when I crit or something and then, then and only then I can use the skill and it deals really much damage and then I just do it. I, I, I don't uh, care if I do an auto hit or not. But yeah, so that's um, 
and then again uh, I don't want to exactly uh, watch if I'm weaving or not I want to do the, the most damage so if I see this skill popping up then I just use this uh, the same with this parrying strike because it's also strong and this only occurs when I'm parrying something yeah but uh, that's weaving pretty much it you can um, learn it really really easy it's, it's really it's really no problem to learn it you, you just you just do auto hits uh, in between your in between your skills and you will automatically weave then what's a little bit harder is to get to perfect timing so the animation becomes as short as possible but yeah that's all about it and there will be there are some other well, there are some other strategies to increase your damage but I will show them later on my channel and you're always welcome to visit it. And until then, see you next time.